Have you noticed fewer blue and white plastic bags littering the streets and hillsides? A local environmental group say Pittsburgh's plastic bag ban is working, and they have the numbers to back it up now. Ross Gadotti has more on what this means for the city and for the environment. Well, according to the study, when it comes to plastic bag compliance in the city of Pittsburgh, some businesses are doing great, while other ones need some improvement. When it comes to the plastic bag ban in Pittsburgh, everybody has an opinion and some are okay with it. How difficult is it for you to make the switch or has it not been difficult at all? Not at all, not at all. I understand getting rid of the plastic, so it's not at all been difficult. Others, not so much. It's an inconvenience. I think that the stores should give you bags. I don't like it. I just like going in and not carrying nothing in. Whatever your take on the city's plastic bag ban, a new survey of 50 different businesses by the Penn Environment Research and Policy Center says it's working. Kind of. The good news is... Grocers, convenience stores, clothing and electronic stores, where 93% of places had gone plastic free. Which is really big news because before the ban, the city produced a lot of plastic bags. But the city of Pittsburgh used something like 100 million single-use plastic bags every single year. Now the not so good news is... We found uh, something like 67% compliance at restaurants in the city. Uh, only 15 of the 22 restaurants we surveyed were not giving out plastic. And especially common were plastic bags uh, for delivery. According to the group, the proliferation of single-use plastic bags has had and continues to have a negative impact on the city in many ways. These materials pose a real threat to avian species, marine life, wildlife, and of course we as humans. About every six months, uh, it's suggested that we eat about a cereals bowl worth of plastic. Downtown Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.